lot of takes on different things. So once again, here's Steve Merlo, a gentleman that I was introduced to decades ago by a game warden. That is correct. And we also got together the first time, went out to the aqueduct, and first thing you saw was me helping an old fella pull a 35-pound striper out, if you remember correctly. Oh, yes, I do. That was uh, quite some time ago, and we've been uh, friends ever since. And Steve has been active in the outdoor world since a youth in Button Willow. But anyway, let's talk about this monster catch off of Huntington Beach. Uh, 11 foot long, 8 foot around, 1,323 pound Mako shark. Uh, will be a world record if it's certified, of course, and they're going through the process now. But it's created a little controversy because there's a certain segment of uh, people who don't think you should be catching Mako sharks. What's your take on that? Well, you know, great white sharks have, you know, are known for gobbling up people left and right. They're on the coast and everything else. But you know, the Mako, a lot of people don't realize a man-eater, too. They're like the Maserati of sharks. They're probably the fastest shark of all of them. Uh, when they're hooked, they jump, they fight. They're really powerful fish. They have a mouthful of teeth that, that rivals even a great white. Um, they're normally found, though, a long ways out in schools of tuna and, and stuff like that. That's what they feed primarily on. I hope that they caught that fish on a mustad hook. Right now, I think, but Mustad is still offering there. If you break an all-tackle world record using one of their hooks, that uh, you're going to get a million dollars. And I think it'd be kind of neat. A 1,200-pound Mako is probably nearing the end of his life, and I don't have any problems with anybody catching him and, and uh, bringing him in. Uh, if it was smaller fish, which they do all the time down south, Huntington Beach, San Diego, they catch Makos by the hundreds, and they keep very, very, very few of them. They kill very few of them. But this old guy is kind of like the, the shark on Sherman's Lagoon. He's pretty big, but he's, I don't think he's going to get much bigger. So, so and you right don't, for the picking. And you don't fish for shark. I try not to. I try to stay as far away from sharks <laughs> as I possibly can because of all the fish in the world, as far as I'm concerned, they are the most untrustworthy. They have, they're just a, an eating machine that um, no rhyme or reason will just come up and bite you or eat you or taste you. But, you know, a shark comes up and tastes you, you're pretty well chopped to shreds, you know. So, no, I don't even like fishing for them because they're not all that good of a game fish. Um, I've caught a lot of them in my life unintentionally. But, you know, once in a while, I, I don't mind hooking, um, hooking one just for the fun of it, but we always turn them loose. There's no sense killing them.